events here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am born to the gym and I'll be calling all three matches here tonight. And I wonder where to kick off the main event here on Friday with the, the, the man that gravity forgot, Neville. Set to take action. Neville, former NXT champion, one of the longest reigning NXT champions, held the belt for the most of 2014, won the title from his opponent right now, and Bo Dallas. A lot of people have um, held the NXT championship for a long time. Both Dallas and Neville. Bo Dallas won the NXT title by defeating Big E on NXT back in the summer of 2012 or 2013, whichever the year. And then Neville was able to defeat Bo Dallas at the first NXT uh, uh, live special, which was NXT Arrival in a ladder match. And ever since then, Neville held the belt all the way until NXT, uh, I believe it was NXT Rival in December of 2014, when he lost the title to Sami Zayn. Now look at this. Go. As Neville, wait, Neville, looking upon on his opponent in Dallas, Neville's in the ring. Dallas, don't really realize it, Neville, went from behind, Neville, DDT, right full Dallas. Oftentimes in our business, the only way as the matchup, what the referee has not rung the bell yet. As Neville going after Dallas, shot after shot. That swift kick to the gut there by Neville. And uh, Neville, what a nice cutter. Shades of DDP, Diamond Dallas Page. Neville, what a nice running springboard moonsault. And now the bell has rung. And uh, Neville running springboard drop kick onto Bull Dallas's chest. As Bo, as Bo Dallas has been, uh, well, hasn't got out the blocks yet. As Neville, nice back suplex there. And, oh, a, a leg drop to the arm. And now Neville again. Running springboard moonsault off the top rope cover. Hooks the leg. What are doing the kick out? I believe that was a kick out at two by Dallas. And now Dallas able to get out of the get out of the way, but Neville able to catch him with a shot to the face. Neville kick to the leg and a kick to the chest. My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs. Neville on a roll right now. Neville up top. Neville up top. Moonsault. Moonsault by Neville. Cover. Hooks the leg. Lateral press. Two count. And a kick out of two does Neville. Former NXT champion going all out. And now Neville rolling up. Bo Dallas from behind. Will this be it? Shoulders are down. Would it be in a kick out by Dallas? And now, oh wait, Dallas. I know Neville. Able to drop Dallas. Now Neville has something in mind. Oh, standing corkscrew shooting star press by Neville onto Dallas. Would that be it? Could he go for the cover? Wait, Neville setting him up. Neville setting him up. Neville going up to the top. Never going up to the top. It's only been four minutes into the show so far. Never red arrow. The red arrow. Cover. Hooks the leg. Shoulders are down. And never defeats both Dallas. Wow. Never. Showing a different side of him that we never seen before. Look at that. Running springboard moonsault from the top rope. I'm shocked that Dallas even kicked out of that. that I mean, you can't doubt, you can't here. doubt the, uh, the, like, the not willing to die attitude of Bo Dallas, but after he suffered the red arrow, that was it. Never even went for, even went for a roll from behind, but Dallas was able to kick out. And here was the, uh, ending. I'm pretty sure Jonathan Coachman and his sports center, sports center would, uh, kind of get this be his highlight reel 
of uh, main event as Neville with the shooting with the core screw shooting star press known as the red arrow able to get the win. Here's your winner, Neville. Fantastic win for Neville showing a side we never seen before. Wow. But as we move on, we have a tag team match coming up next. For the first time ever, the World Tag Team Champions versus the WWE Tag Team Champions. It's here on Main Event, and it's next. As we're back here on WWE Main Event. As it, this is the second match of the night. As our main event will be Chris Jericho going one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Intercontinental Champion and Kevin Owens. But here comes... Monday Night Raw's WWE Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks, been holding on to the tag titles ever since winning them back at Extreme Backlash in Philadelphia, like I believe three to four months ago. Back in the middle of the middle of the summer, never lost a tag title since. They defeated New Day twice. They defeated Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. And I've been told that there's nothing there's nothing that Cesaro and Tyson Kidd could do about what happened at um, Night of Champions pre-show. And here comes SmackDown's World Tag Team Champion, what well, after the World Tag Team Champion, Captain Charisma Christian. Former two-time World Heavyweight Champion, multi-time, I believe five-time or four-time Intercontinental Champion and Christian, eight-time Tag Team Champion with his buddy Edge. They've been holding on the World Tag Team Titles ever since winning it from the Vaughn Villains at Extreme Backlash as well. So they kind of been holding the World Tag Team Titles as long as the Young Bucks are holding their WWE Tag Team Championship. And here comes WWE Hall of Famer, the 11 time World Heavyweight Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge. Edge has done a lot in the WWE. But he told me he, he wants to stay a little longer. He wants to wrestle all the new guys, all the young guys, all the guys that he knows that they have the potential of becoming the next WWE uh, huge superstar. As he's as he is the World Tag Team Champion with uh, Christian, and this is the first time ever, I believe, in a long time, at least first time ever in 2K16, that Edge and that the World Tag Team Champions will face the WWE. Tag Team Champions. The last time that type of match happened was between Kane and Big Show against Rob Van Dam and Booker T. And Kane and Big Show were able to get the victory. And here we go. The bell has rung. The matchup is underway. That's Matt Jackson and Christian starting off the match. Nice throw like suplex by Matt Jackson. First move of the match as Matt with a nice DDT on the, on the leg. Attacking the leg in the early going of the match. You know, Matt Jackson has Christian going on. Oh, go for a Corral over Christian counters. Alley oop. Face buster. Oh, man, the backhand chop by Christian. Now, Christian has Matt Jackson going for a neck breaker and he lands it. And now, the four for two time champion makes the tag to the 11 time world champion in Edge. And now, oh, wait, Matt Jackson has Edge and a nice Falcon arrow. By Matt Jackson, former uh, one half of the IWGP uh, Junior Tag Team Champion uh, in uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, as Matt Jackson is up top in a nice hurricanrana. Nice able to switch it in and get him the proper way. And now, oh wait, oh Edge with a nice counter. Now Edge is going to be in control. They're going to shift the momentum onto his side. But now Matt has something else in mind. Short of tackle. Knocking down Edge. I believe this is the first time ever on the main event, though. This is happening. As Matt Jackson tossing Edge onto the outside. If we had a count of two, I believe, or one. As this matchup will continue. Both men on the outside. Over her. Karana, but Edge with a powerbomb. 
dropping Matt Jackson right on his spine. Does Edge. And now Edge has the momentum in his corner. Can Matt Jackson be able to get back into this match? Can the Young Bucks somehow prevail and defeat the World Tag Team Champions? Or Edge and Christian score a victory for SmackDown? We're going to find that out as this matchup rolls on here on Main Event. As we're back here on Main Event here in Las Vegas. And a neck breaker by Matt Jackson dropping Christian. It is Edge. And Christian, the World Tag Team Champions of SmackDown, goes up against the WWE Tag Team Champions of Monday Night Raw in the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. And now Nick Jackson. Oh, what a nice moonsault from the second rope. Man. The elevation of Matt Jackson. Now Nick Jackson with a nice reverse hurricanrana on the Christian. Attack in the head and neck area that Christian has had problems in the past. Okay, somehow I'll be able to capitalize. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh! Nice maneuver. Shades of Seth Rollins there. Hooks both legs. He got him in a kick at it, too. And Matt Jackson. No, Nick Jackson. Uh, I'm sorry. Had the. Uh, oh, super kick! Nick Jackson had edge in the cross face, even though they're not legal. Matt Jackson with the super kick, but, he, but he's not. Going for something. Oh, wait a minute. 450. 450 splash. Does Matt Jackson. Yeah, he does not go for the cover. I don't know why. And now. Matt Jackson. I was flipping Christian to the corner. Something. Oh, wait. Christian was busted wide open, by the way. On his forehead. Christian. Wait a minute. Christian reverse DDT. Reverse DDT. Christian goes for the cover. Will that be it? Hooks the leg. Shoulders it down. Nick Jackson looking to make the save, and he does. Edge was not able to get there fast enough. As Christian and Matt Jackson, legal men in this match. Nice neck breaker there by Captain Charisma. Who's going to be able to walk away with the win for their brand? As we're only a couple weeks away from hell. I mean, sorry, from Unforgiven, I should say. As Christian with a nice up print here. The, the kill switch, cover, hooks the leg. Will that put away the Young Bucks? And Nick was able to make the save. Nick Jackson was able to make the save for for Matt and himself for the matchup. As Nick is on the on the apron on his corner. Ed should be on this. Should be outside the ring, actually. Be in this corner. And now Christian attacking in the head and neck area of Matt Jackson. What a tremendous, tremendous matchup here on main event. Christian, nice tornado DDT. Does Christian. Does Christian. They're going to do something special here to uh, Matt Jackson. Christian got him up on his shoulders. They're going to drop him. Flapjack. Trying to flatten him like a pancake. That does Christian. As this matchup rolls on, as oh wait, Matt Jackson shot to the to the kidneys there, go for a, a schoolboy, no super kick to the chin, right to the chin of Christian. Does Matt Jackson? Does Matt Jackson need to make the tag? I mean, Nick Jackson has been in the ring during the commercial break, but Matt Jackson has been in the has been in the ring more longer than Nick. As wait a minute, wait a minute, oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, this is the same move that. That made them retain the titles. Oh, Indy Taker does the Young Bucks. The same move that beat Cesaro and Kid and all the other people that faced them. And Edge and Christian will be in the list of the young, of, of the victims of the Young Bucks. I'm trying to say. The Young Bucks, the WWE Tag Team Champions, able to get the win and defeat. And to Christian here on main event. As you can look at it right here, the conclusion of the match. The Indie Taker, as Matt Jackson was able to make the tag finally to Nick Jackson. And the Matt Jackson able to go and make the save. And the Young Bucks able to score the victory. What a win for the Young Bucks. Man, what a matchup. What a tag team match. What a war between uh, all four men. 
But in the end, Monday Night Raw prevails as the Young Bucks get the win. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next here on Main Event, it's our Main Event as Chris Jericho Y2J goes one-on-one -on -one with Fight Owens Fight Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion. If Chris Jericho can, can continue his role by defeating the Intercontinental Champ, we're going to find that out next. And here we go, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Y2J. Chris Jericho looking to appear for the first time, I believe so, on main event. The Ayatollah Rock and Roller. Only man to hold the undisputed the title in WWE. Y2J has accomplished everything in WWE, became WWE and World Heavyweight Champion in the past, former nine time, broke his own record multiple times by becoming a nine time Intercontinental Champion. Chris Jericho has done it all, tag team champions with a lot of people in Big Show, I believe, I believe Christian and so many more that I can't think of the top of my head. The Y2J's here on main event. I got a question for you guys. Who would you like to see here on main event? You can let me know in the, the comments section below. If you watched, if you made it to the video this far, please type in the word main event in the comments below. It was Y2J. And here it comes. The WWE Intercontinental Champion. The man who got back the title. Ever since defeating Samoa Joe back in at a champions. Kevin Owens. And to be honest, so have I. Lost the Intercontinental Championship to a grueling battle against Samoa Joe at at SummerSlam in Madison Square Garden. And then was able to get back the Intercontinental Championship. Was able to win back the championship at Night of Champions in Detroit. And was able to retain it from uh, Samoa Joe on the night after on the Monday Night Raw night on the the night after SummerSlam on Monday Night Raw. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event. Chris Jericho goes one on one with Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion. Can Jericho continue his role and maybe become number one contender for the Intercontinental title? We'll find that out when we come back after this. As we're back here on main event, here in the main event of main event, as Jericho, I was hoping, uh, Kevin Owens off the ropes, Jericho, got him by the legs, Jericho, Jer got him by the legs, Jericho got him, walls of Jericho, Jericho got him in the walls, will Owens tap out, will Owens tap out to the walls of Jericho, the Intercontinental Champion trying to fight it, trying to drag his body, Without even using his legs to go to the ropes for Jericho. He realized he was close to the ropes. He didn't want to drag him. He didn't want to fight back and drag him to the middle of the ring like he normally does. Jericho, something else in mind. Shot to the face by Jericho onto Owens. Now Jericho has Owens up on the top rope. And now Jericho feeding it with the crowd here. And, and uh... Las Vegas, Nevada. As uh, Owens boots to the chest. Owens off the top. Owens, oh, Jericho caught him again. Code breaker. Jericho caught him with a code breaker. The same thing happened to Hideo Tommy this past Monday night on Old School Raw. When that put away the Intercontinental Champion too. He got out of kick at it too, does Owens. Jericho was able to get the win. On Monday Night Raw, this past Monday in Old School Raw in Nashville against Hideo Itami, but yeah, was not able to pin Fight Owens Fight, the Intercontinental Champion. And I went Owens as Jericho, German Suplex. German like Suplex by Owens, and now Owens maybe looking to set up for the pop up power bomb. Owens setting it up, kick to the best section. Owens off the ropes, goes Jericho. Owens up the up the pop up power bomb. Kevin Owens. Might be able to get the win here on main event. Cover two. Ah, the kick out of two. That's Jericho. 
Kevin Owens fighting with the referee saying that was three. But the referee told him that was two. Man. As Jericho formed to the face. Alright, we'll strip off the ropes. Goes with Owens. And now Jericho. Oh, wait, Owens. Owens with a nice jawbreaker. And now Owens got the champ on his shoulders. Drop him, gut buster. And now, wait a minute. Oh, what a set time to follow it up. And now Owens. Look at the edge of the ring, I, I, I think. No way, Owens! Owens with a nice springboard! Springboard senton from the apron. Will that put Jericho away? Cover, shoulders it down. Will it put him away in a kick at it too, does Jericho? Holy. All the stuff, they're putting all, they're doing everything right now. Putting all these, st all the stuff, man, everything. It's, Giving, they're giving each other everything about the kitchen sink, but I think that might be coming just now. As uh, Jericho and a nice elbow shot to the face of the Intercontinental Champion. Backhand chop, kick to the midsection. Jericho got him again. Jericho got him again. Jericho got him again. Well, got him by both legs. And now Jericho, the walls of Jericho. Walls of Jericho is locked in, cinched in. Will Owens tap out to the walls of Jericho? Kevin Owens taking the fight out of it again. As Jericho is moments away of making the Intercontinental Champion tap out. And now Jericho has something, I guess he has something else in mind, but he put a lot of pain on the lower back of Evan Owens. And now Jericho, I was flipping Owens. Owens busts off the ropes. Kevin Owens and chop off Jericho! Code breaker again! Code breaker again! This is the third code breaker of the match. During the commercial break, we two count and he pin the Intercontinental Champion. Y2J able to get the win here on main event. Jericho was able to hit the code breaker during the commercial break. As you can see right... Wait, no, that's not it, actually. But during the commercial break, Jericho was able to hit the 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 code breaker onto Owens. But Owens was able to kick out. As you can see right here, Lion Salt during the commercial break. Here on main event. Almost had Owens. But Owens was able to kick out it too. That's the first code breaker right there. Kevin Owens. Then he looked like he didn't know where he was, and he kicked out a two of the code breaker. And then Jericho right there, the final code breaker of the match. As you guys know, the second code breaker was the was the catching code breaker in midair. What a match here on main event. Jericho's able to get the win. Hit the like button below. Subscribe for more if you guys enjoyed the show. Follow me on Twitter at boy 3 gym Monday Night Raw will be coming very soon as Monday Night Raw will be uploaded very soon. Alright guys, and I'm out. Later!